Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and um, a couple of you have asked me to talk about, because I haven't talked about the rollout, how it's going for the May 2019 update, and uh, talk a little bit about the future, what uh, we are going to have also in the next uh, year. Um, so, two months. We're at two months since the um, official release of the version 1903, that's also called Windows 10 May 2019 update and a lot of you have been asking me so how's the rollout going it's you know overall one of the best rollouts of Windows 10 in a long time um, it is far superior in quality than the October and April 2018 updates that had on average a lot more problems at their rollouts than the May 2019 update so that longer phase of testing really paid off now that doesn't mean <coughs> that it's all beautiful because yes there's a small subset of users that do have problems and that is something that is often the case or pretty much always the case with every version of Windows because there's always that machine or that you know um, setup or that configuration that sometimes might cause issues. Uh, at two months we had a few couple of updates that fixed a lot of bugs within May 2019 update because there were some bugs that would, were known and prevented some of you from upgrading. There were some bugs that of course as usual are discovered while people are using it but overall things are actually pretty good. Uh, if you look at last week's video, I posted once again a video about the uh, problems that are on the May 2019 update. There's a page, Microsoft has an official page of what they have as issues and problems. Um, and of course there's some stuff left, but it's minor, you know, it's things that they deem are not going to have issues in <coughs> you upgrading to the May 2019 update and uh, using it. So, you know, things like sandbox mode doesn't work in some machines. Still investigating. Uh, probably the biggest problem there is right now is that the Surface Book and some Surface devices are being blocked from getting it right now still because of some issues, which is honestly very, very weird and awkward because, I mean, when you make the devices, I don't understand why Windows doesn't work on them or has issues. It's, it, it's clearly showing that the Surface team and Windows team are not talking to each other because that would not happen if they did talk to each other. The uh, bug, the biggest bug was the um, SD card and USB drives that plagued the install for many. That is also fixed, officially completely fixed as of uh, about a week or two ago. And of course, the, the next set of events, because once again, I'll say it, um, even though, yes, there's a small subset of people that have problems. And, you know, <coughs> we always got to be careful with how many people have problems, because uh, what looks like a huge amount of people is in reality a small percentage of upgraders to Windows 10 1903. Uh, but the problem is, you know, when you have close to a billion Windows 10 machines out there, um, you know, half a percent of people having problems is millions of people so of course they voice their minds people that are having a good upgrade are not talking so um, here on the channel a lot of you that did have a good upgrade did voice your um, comments of you know having a good experience but of course there's also some of you that have voiced your frustrations at the May 2019 update <coughs> so what's the future now what's happening as we continue on, we are in July, um, you know, in a week from today, we will be celebrating the fourth anniversary of Windows 10, because it was released on July 29th, 2015, first version ever. Um, so, if you're on the April 2018 update, because your version will expire this fall, you have been getting, you will be forced to the 1903 May 2019 update. That's the first thing. So a lot of you that are still there because the majority of Windows 10 users were still as of a few weeks ago 
on the um, April 2018 update. You guys are starting to have it forced on you um, because they their your version will expire in October or November. What is happening with 19H2? Well, 19H2 has started to be tested, and uh, there's been three cumulative updates yet on slurring insiders. It's still stated to be released in September. So um, that would mean September for insiders, probably. That's usually the way that it works. And October for the general population. What's nice is that it won't be a big update. This is going to make a lot of people happy. It'll be a cumulative update being pushed to you that will add a few features, change a few things here and there. But it's not going to be a big reinstall of Windows like the 1903 or the May 2019 update is. So this is refreshing and I think a very, very good idea that Microsoft did this. The next big version of Windows 10 is going to be next year. It's being tested at the Fast Ring Insiders. It's 20H1. So it will be something like, you know, the May 2020 update or something like that, or the uh, April 2020 update. Um, that is going to be next year. That one will apparently have more features. But the thing is, um, if you are on my Insider channel, and even here I, I talked about what we had in the past a uh, few months of Insider's uh, builds on 20H1, and frankly, we don't have a lot of new stuff in there. They've clearly decided to relax the number of new features and they tweak it more so that it probably performs better and, you know, lower the uh, risk of having major issues. And that will be early next year. Now, there's a lot of still fake news out there. Uh, Windows 11 coming up next year. Nope. There's no such thing on Windows 11 still now. And uh, don't believe that. Uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, well, they're going to, you know, call it Windows 2020 or no, there's no such thing. Um, you know what? It's still going to be Windows 10, uh, April 2020 or date or something like that. That's pretty much what's going to happen here. So um, that's what's happening. The update, the upgrade to 1903 is actually going very well. Um, and, you know, once again, if you don't see it, because I still see a lot of people telling me, well, I don't see it. What do I have to do to to prepare my PC so that it shows up. Nothing. You gotta wait. If you don't have it showing up in Windows updates, don't force it. Just wait. It will eventually. It's because something on your PC is still not compatible and they're not taking the risk of pushing that version to you. But at some point you'll see it appear magically on your machine if you know when they actually fix whatever problem they see with your machine. So just be patient. Uh, yes, you can force it if you want, but that's at your own risk. And um, usually people that have problems are more, um, usually more of the people that actually forced it than the people that actually, you know, added, um, downloaded and, and installed because they actually, uh, you know, told you that it was okay to uh, install it. So that's where we're at. We are uh, July 22nd, 2019 today. And that uh, is the... Um, you know, kind of the update to the rollout of the May 2019 update as it's happening right now. And a little bit of the future of Windows. Enjoy our videos. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.